going to be a great weekend. That means lots of people are going to be out enjoying the warm weather. And guess what? The ticks will be out, too. Ah, yuck. Oh, no. LBC 2's Abby Isaac spoke with a bug expert to get some tips for avoiding them altogether. So, Abby, what are they recommending? Well, the University of Maryland's bug guy has three tips. Avoid, inspect, and remove to protect yourself from ticks and the diseases they carry. Because, as he'll tell you, no one is invincible to those pests. That is about the size of what I pulled off myself. Definitely not something you want to find. University of Maryland professor Michael Raup was taking advantage of the rare warmth last week. And uh, what I found, unfortunately, a couple days later, I did have a uh, Lone Star tick embedded right at my waistline. So he acted fast. Picked off that tick. I sent it to a laboratory for analysis. Within a week, I'll have an analysis of that tick, and I'll know if that particular one had any of these tick-borne illnesses. He says this should be the last resort. You want to avoid ticks altogether because of what they carry. Black-legged ticks found in the forest carry Lyme disease. Lyme disease is a very serious illness. It's actually a life-threatening illness. The Lone Star tick found in meadows carries other ones. Other important diseases are things like ehrlichiosis. It's much rarer, but this is also a very nasty disease. He says tick populations may also be on the rise. New England is seeing a lot more ticks submitted for analysis because of the mild winter weather. If Maryland is guided by the same principles of nature, we would expect moist, warm winters to actually favor ticks. And we could see an increase in things like Lyme disease here in Maryland as well. So he says be prepared. Stick to the trails, wear tick protective clothing. Tuck your pants into your socks and wear lighter colors so the ticks are easier to spy. You can actually buy materials, compounds that you're going to apply to your clothing, your pant legs, your shoes. These really are effective. I use them all the time. And when you get home, do a full body check. Remove those ticks if you find one within the first 24 hours. That's going to dramatically reduce the possibility of contracting a tick-borne disease. And then take precaution. Send it off to the lab. Now it's just a sit and wait, but I know that if I've contracted this, there are good therapies and I'm going to be just fine. Hey, it's an occupational hazard when you're a bug guy. He says you should also be on the lookout for this bullseye rash because that could mean Lyme disease. And if you want to send your tick to the lab, just search Tick Testing Service online. You can order a kit for about $50, and some foundations also do it for free. We also have more information on our website, abc2news.com.